guys and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Jamie and today we're going to walk around video on this 2013 SSV. Now, I'm going to run you through some of the features and also the benefits on why you should own this beautiful vehicle. And there is a little bit something special with this car which I'll tell you a little bit later. So starting off with the front, you do have front colour coded parking sensors. You do have six of them, where most manufacturers only put four on the front. You also have daytime running lights and you also have your fog lights right next to them as well. Now, as you can see, the front of the car it is a little bit wet, but I can assure you there are no major stone chips or scratches on the vehicle, on the front of the vehicle, sorry. We'll come around, we'll look at our first alloy wheel. You can see that we do have these nice piano black finish wheels and they are unmarked. They are pretty much brand new and you have really good tread left on those tyres as well. Now you do have this blacked out uh, side vent. It isn't actually functional, is it just there for the style? But you do have your side indicator integrated into that side vent as well. Color coded exterior mirrors and door handles. Now the mirrors do have this uh, bit of black plastic throughout, but it does go with the rest of the car with all the other black features. We have chrome door handles with the uh, keyless entry on it. So pressing the button once will lock the car and then pressing it again will actually unlock the door as well. Taking a look inside the car now, you'll see for 2013 how well it does present. All the leather is intact, no rips or stains on the actual leather. All the trim's intact and where we get lazy and kick the door open, that's all intact as well. No major scratches or anything like that on it. Working our way down, the paintwork is in really good order again. SS badging is all intact. We'll take a look in the back as well while we're here. You can even open the door with the keyless entry on the passenger's doors as well. As you can see, even the back is pretty spotless for 2013. As you can tell, the previous owner has done a really good job of maintaining the inside of the vehicle as well as the outside. Looking at our second wheel, that wheel's unmarked again. You can tell that the car is a bit lower in the back, so it does have lowered suspension. And as you can, uh, the wheels have plenty of life left on those tread as well. Fuel door, just press it to open it and the same thing to close it. We'll only do that if the car is actually unlocked. Coming towards the back, the surprise I was talking about is it is a Walkinshaw 310, so it does have a Walkinshaw package on it. You've got your SSV badging there as well. Dual exhaust, which is the Walkinshaw exhaust, and you have color-coded reverse parking sensors. Now I'm just going to try and get the key out of my pocket as I've got multiple keys in there, so just give me one second. Yep, it's got to be the last one I pull out, which is perfect. All right, so we'll pop the bonnet. Take a look in the rear of the car. As you can see, all your genuine floor mats are in there as well. And as you can tell, of course, with the Commodore, massive boot space. We'll take a look under the uh, under the cover here, where, as you can see, you do have a full-size, it looks like a full-size spare wheel. Um, I don't know if anyone knew this, but you can actually use this tab here and hold it up by this, so you actually don't have to hold it yourself, which is a pretty nifty feature as well. What I didn't mention is they're walking shore mats too. Coming around the, to the passenger side now, again, all the paintwork on the passenger side is in just as good as condition as the driver's side. This wheel does have a bit of marks on it here and there, but again, for the year of the car, it still presents in really good condition. Now, we do have uh, no scratches on these doors that I can see that are worth pointing out at all. And as you can see, again, black alloy wheel, does have a little bit minor ashing, but again, it's still in really good condition for the age and still good tread left on those tires too. So as you can see guys, from the exterior condition of the vehicle, it presents really well. Okay guys, taking a look underneath the bonnet now. So as you can tell, not the standard LS2 that comes out at the factory. We do have a Walkinshaw 310 package on here. So it's gone from 260 kilowatts to 310 kilowatts. So we have the cold air intake, the long head tube, uh, tube headers, the high flow cat, we have the performance catback exhaust, Walkinshaw ECU tune. We also have professionally lowered suspension, and we have the genuine Holden Redline fitted wheels as well. So as you can see, guys, really good extras that have been fitted to this car, especially with the Walkinshaw package. Again, look inside the SSV. Now we'll start you off on the driver's side door, where you have all your window controls. You also have a button here that locks the uh, all the other windows. We also have all our mirror controls here as well, left and right, and then our central locking is just above, right next to the door handle. All your headlight controls and your fog lights and controls are just on here. You can just leave it on auto and it'll do all the work for you. And then you've got your brightness adjuster for the center cluster itself. On your right hand stalk, we have our indicators and we also have our menu button and our high beams as well. On the left hand stalk, we have our windscreen wipers. On the steering wheel itself, really nice leather wrapped steering wheel, which is in really good condition as well. Right hand side, all our media controls and our Bluetooth controls. Left hand side, all our cruise control and our speed limiter as well. Now it is a proximity key, so we do have a push button start. Into the main entertainment system now, as you can tell, we have AM FM radio, we also have digital radio, we have uh, AUX and USB as well, and Bluetooth as I, men as I mentioned before. We also have satellite navigation as well. As you can see, 
nice nice display, easy to use. I'll quickly chuck in reverse and show you the nice reverse camera this car comes with as well. And if you don't like the reverse camera, you can also use the park assist as well. Putting that back into drive, just down below you have all your hard buttons to use the uh, main entertainment system as it is. And then you have all your hard buttons for your climate control as well. Now it is dual zone climate control and when you do change the temperatures up here, it also comes up on the main screen as well. So really good feature to have. Down below you have a 12 volt socket with a good amount of storage in there. You do have uh, your manual gearbox. It is a six speed that throws out pretty nice and nice and short and notchy as the Commodores are known for. And the clutch is pretty friendly as well. Now you do have uh, your traction control button that you can turn off. Now this button here doesn't actually work in the manuals, it's only for the automatics. Your reverse parking sensors and then your automatic handbrake. So you can push it down, or I should say electric handbrake. Push it down and that turns it off, which you'll hear the handbrakes go off. And then do the opposite, obviously pull it up to turn it on. Two cup holders, nice leather wrapped armrest. Then inside the actual armrest itself, you have a 12 volt socket, USB AUX and then you have uh, this little compartment down here. So if the actual key goes dead in the car, you would not be able to start the car because it's a proximity key. But if you just chuck the key in here, you, can still, you would still be able to turn, uh, turn the car in. So it's just like having a normal key, but it's just uh, not the actual key itself. But get the camera person to pan around the interior, show you the condition of the car. Because as you can see for 2013, with only 76,000 kilometers on the clock, the car does present really well. And especially with that fancy walking shore package on it, it's a fantastic car to drive. Hey guys, hopefully that's given you a really good representation of the condition inside and outside of the car. Also ran you through some of the features and the benefits of why you should own this beautiful vehicle. Now the number to call if you would like to book a test drive is 9907055. This car will also qualify for our premium mechanical protection plan. It's going to give you 5 years up to 10 years of roadside assistance, 5 years mechanical and electrical protection and also unlimited claims up to $3,000 per claim. Now it is an additional cost, but if you do use our in-house finance, Mario or Julie, our business managers, are more than welcome to talk to you about a package to tailor it towards your needs that will only adjust your payments by a couple of dollars a week. Now the last thing, with a 4.8 star rating on Google with over 780 reviews Australia-wide, you can be certain that you're buying a fantastic car from the right business and also the right people to deal with as well. Now last thing, 9907045, my name is Jamie and thank you for watching.